Welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you the new automatic grid point distribution function. If you go to the defaults panel in PointWise, and in particular you look at the connector frame, you're going to notice there is a new distribution function called automatic. There's also a new field to specify a new parameter called mean spacing or minimum spacing. The difference between the automatic distribution function and all the other distribution functions we have in pointwise is that this one actually computes the dimension and the distribution of grid points along the connectors based on a size field. What actually affects the size field? The nearby sources, the curvature of nearby database surfaces, the size field decay, the size field background spacing, and last but not least, that new parameter, the mean spacing. So the mean spacing in particular is a target minimum spacing used by the size field. It's a way to tell the size field, I don't want a target edge length smaller than this. There's one thing to keep in mind, however. The local values may vary below this setting, but will not fall significantly below the target. What I have in front of you is five connectors, each one of them with a tanH or hyperbolic tangent distribution function and a dimension of 10 grid points. I also have a sphere that happens to be a source with constant spacing equal to 0.3 and a decay of 0.1. What I want to show you in this simple example is how the sphere, which is a source, affects the size field and in turn the size field affect those connectors when they are changed to automatic distribution function. So let's go ahead and select all my connectors and I'm going to use this option right here to change their distribution function to automatic. And as you can see, those connectors have now changed. In this case, the difference is that now that sphere is not a source. Indeed, it is a database surface. So I'm going to select all my connectors and go to Grid Distribute. There are a couple of things I have to do in order for the curvature of this surface to affect the size field. First, I need to check on the use surface curvature parameter. And the second thing, I need to specify either the max angle parameter, the max deviation, or both of them. In my case, I'm going to set this one to 1.0. I'm going to optimize the dimension of my connectors. The connectors get updated and of course they have changed. If you like this video be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.